Wellness. We are at Forbidden Planet and below me is a wild Caitlin counting her manga. <laughs> we are in the corner of the shop. Oh, this is why everyone hates me. <laughs> I don't think how pink I am. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, this is such a bad animal. Luminous. <laughs> so. <laughs> Well, currently, well, not me. Caitlin's currently counting all her manga that she picked up Some today. Um, we're not going to mention that we actually spent a lot of money on our pre-orders already, and the fact that we picked up more manga on this trip, this is crazy. So we are currently in London before Chris's event later on. So we thought, let's go manga shopping and that. And this is quite embarrassing because there's lots of people around me, and I might like, crash down on the floor. <laughs> But I've got Caitlin with me, so yeah, we're crouching together. Yeah, like I don't feel embarrassed myself at all. So we're gonna head out to get some food later, and then um, take our manga back to Caitlin's hotel. Because um, I'm not taking this <laughs> And yeah, so this is what I picked up. I'll do a little haul later, but um, yeah, I am very hot. I'm flustered right now, actually. Let me just stand up. But anyway, please give this video a like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Click on the bell. Yeah. <laughs> for free tees, affiliate links down below, you know, Amazon, Bright Stuff, Blackwells, Forbidden Planet, and yeah, this is very spontaneous. Hello and welcome guys, so this is another manga shopping vlog from me, as you know, every time I'm in London, I always gotta stop by at Forbidden Planet, gotta love me some free for two, gotta love me some sale section, so in this sale section specifically, a lot of the manga are like, 99p, £4.99, so definitely a bargain if you're like collecting any of the series that they put out. But yeah, a lot of the stock here, I know this was filmed back in like December, November time, but a lot of the stock you see in this video is still the same in Forbidden Planet, but probably even more, as since it's a mega store in London, they tend to like stock all the new releases really well. So we've got Astora Volume 6 here, and yeah, so all the manga here is um, laid out all in alphabetical order, and if you haven't been following on this channel already a lot of the manga here so all viz releases are free for two and also seven seas and sometimes you might see a rare occasion some other publishers may be free for two by accident but um yeah they did stock up a lot of blue period which i was like damn since when do they like print out so much blue period but yeah i need to really um be up to date with those volumes there to be honest but hopefully i'll find some of those volumes um on sale online but yeah, this is... Oh, you can see me in the mirror here. <laughs> but yeah, this is the D section. And um, yeah, quite a lot of new manga. I'm really excited for the new release of um, Dead Dead Demon Dead Dead Destruction. So I can start the series. That's um, Dan 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 as well. And then we got the little shoujo shelf that they have going on here. It used to be a lot bigger, I believe. But um, now they have like two full shelves of it. And... Um, yeah, they sometimes like put some shoujo manga in the shoujo section rather than alphabetical order. So definitely keep an eye on that. So yeah, oh, also recently, like last week when I went to London, they did restock all of May Summer. So if you want to pick up May Summer, they have all the volumes currently in London. And then they have My Love Mix Up as well and my happy marriage unfortunately my happy marriage is published by square enix so that was not free for two but um yeah there's romantic killer i know that's a series that is um quite in heat at the moment but yeah we won't go into the goss here in, in this video but um yeah so this is the shoujo section so we've got the s section oh wait, wait why is there s in the f section bit confused there but this should be the f section we've got fly me to the moon for metal alchemist that's another series i actually want to start collecting got tokyo revengers which is free for two as it's published by seven seas but yeah talking about for uh, uh, metal alchemist like this is a series that is one of my friend's favorites like manga and also favorite anime so i'm planning to get into it since i've heard so many good things about it but yeah let me know down below if it's a good series or not we've got some golden kamui here a girl from the other side So we've got some good night pimpin haiku haiku is another series that i really wish to collect however there's just so many volumes i don't yeah i don't have any shelf space for that unfortunately but hopefully in the future i can collect and then we have some hunter hunter another series that i'd like to collect i think i heard that it's been out of hiatus now so that's good news and then we've got some jojos 
Currently I only have Jojo part 3 in my collection but hopefully in the future I may collect the hardbacks but currently I do like the old Viz releases. And then we've got Kaiju, one of my favourite shonen series that's out currently. Actually, is it a seinen or shonen? That's another thing, when it comes to demographics I always get confused whether it's like shoujo jose or like shonen seinen. Like, yeah, the easiest one is Biao I think. <laughs> But we've got Love or Kill. This is another series that I recently started collecting. I think I picked some volumes up from like Books Please or like Blackwells for a good price. We've got some Mashal here. My Dress Up Darling. Oh my god, My Dress Up Darling, guys. Oh, the original price now for that series is £14.99. I remember when that was £10.99. But yeah, definitely can't pick it up now in store yeah it's ridiculous the price manga inflation is very real gotta love the 18 plus section like i love it when manga stores or like comic books or bookstores like section their manga by like categories i know foils does it but that one is uh another story because i know they put certain series under certain demographics that are not even correct but that's another story but um there's neon uh, genesis evangelion this is another series that i picked it all up from traveling man i didn't even know it was a viz release so i could have picked this up in store and like saved some money but in the end i ended up um buying it all on traveling man we've got sakamoto days one of my favorite shonen series that's out at the moment as well so this is the s section we've got some solo leveling some spy family soul eater so oh yes yeah, spy family volume 9 is out as well so this series is summertime rendering and i think caitlin did mention that she started collecting it i'm not sure if she's completed yet but i know that series is quite expensive but if i ever do get a chance to pick it up hopefully it does go on offer or something but we are in the w section here so near the end so we've got some water koi you know and Zelda, this is some tea. Oh, we're back to the T section. I went backwards. Okay, we <laughs> we got some T section. You, Undead and Luck, and um, I did pick up Undead and Luck actually, but I had to return it in a different Forbidden Planet store because it turns out I picked it up online as well. And then there's Usotsuki Rhetoric, which is a new series that I started collecting as well. I think I recently picked up Volume Two on forbidden planet online also volume two of vagabond is now out i'm so happy it took so long to restock but um they also have a young readers section if you want to buy any manga for any of the young ones you know get them started from early but yeah so here i am showing you the manga that i picked up from this trip so we've got a postcard from chris and natsuki where they signed but um, yeah, so I picked up Vagabond Volume, I think this was Volume 8, right? Yeah, Volume 8. And I picked it up for £8.99, which is a bargain. On the sticker, it did say that this volume was damaged. But personally, I didn't see much other than some chips and that. But there were other spines that were very yellow on um, the shelves that you saw earlier. But this specific volume, I picked up for 99 p which I was like, might as well. It's only a free volume series, so I picked it up. And then the next series I picked up is The Promised Neverland. Oh, Beyond The Promised Neverland. I think this is a continuation a bit or a side story of the series. And as you all know, I love TPN, one of my favorite series that I have in my collection. So I thought might as well pick this up as well. And then next series I picked up is Sakamoto Days Volume 4. I'm currently up to date, so I have six volumes of this. Love this to pieces. I know you can read this on a Shane and Jump app as well. So if you're not committed to collecting it, definitely recommend reading it on the app. Next, I have My Love Mix Up. Another series that I really need to be up to date with reading as I only read uh, the first volume. I haven't even read the rest of my other volumes. And then I have Imakoi Volume 4, you know, one of my favorite shoujo romances out at the moment. And um, yeah, so good. Oh, uh, I love that page. I noticed it there. I want to belong to Yagyu. Oh my god, that's so cute. And then I think this last series I picked up, which is Rainbow Days. I believe this is a shoujo, but done in the male's perspective. So definitely very new. I don't have any manga that's like that. The behind the scenes of counting manga. <laughs> right. Right. I don't know what to start. Oh wait, let me move my pile so you can use the stool. <laughs> right, let me hold this. So this is the commitment that we had to go through as collectors, you know, saving money. Yeah, I'm, I'm saving money. That's exactly what I'm doing by yeah. <laughs> buying all this. 
we're just saving in bulk. Now we have organized, we're just counting how many we have in a pile. That's, that's $11.99, that's $10.99. Yep. Check out Lord of the Rings jumper. Did not know what it was. <laughs> that's the stuff. Oh, nice. So we don't have to worry about the free for two. That's quite a lot for sale. <laughs> but I'm so happy because there's a series in there which I'm completing. Yeah. With the volume I found on sale. Oh, that's amazing. Seven seats, I love going in blind. They just put yeah. out the weird, batshit, crazy stuff. Yeah. Ooh, sexy. It's about a guy. What? Who, who when he um, he finishes diamonds. Wait, wait, wait! He finishes into diamonds. No, no, he produces diamonds. diamonds oh right! But it knocks you off his life when he does it. Oh, so the, crap. the whole, so it, the the disease is called that. And oh. there are these women who hunt down men with this to try and get more diamonds, get, procure diamonds. I see. Wow, that's an interesting but, story. But if he manages to go for a year without, yeah, he'll be fine. Okay. And he can produce as many diamonds as he wants. Oh, so there's only one. So after a year waiting, yeah. he'll be fine. Yeah, and he'll be rich because he's got lots of diamonds. Okay. Okay, then. Is that the tail right now? Oh, yeah. So far, we've got two bags full. <sighs> It's very hot in here. So currently the stack is growing over on Caitlin's side. Yeah, that's definitely all of it. Yeah. That's all of it, yeah? Yep. Definitely. Nice. So we are back at the hotel. Showing off the bags. Put them on it. Yes. Let's go. I'm gonna crash at theirs now. I'm joking. We're gonna head to Soho now, I think. Look for food and Head to Christmas Ben! Ben is very, very excited, I must say. <laughs> We're on the tube now. I thought, <laughs> I thought Caitlin just walked back there. <laughs> oh, shh, shh. We are currently in Chinatown. We have ordered. A um, bit manic trying to find somewhere to eat. I ended up going to the usual place that I normally go to. Shanghai Modern. I don't recommend, but you know, as long as we've got a seat. I'm literally sat right outside the exit, so, yeah. <laughs> so we've got a great view, so we've got a great view of the view, Chinatown Bakery, Best Bakery in London. Actually, there's probably better ones, but I just go to this one. We're waiting for the showing. So it turns out it's a film at 8 p.m. and then there's a meet and greet at 10 p.m. We are going up to um, screen two. And yeah, I think it was screen two, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Wasn't for screen two. So we're going now. Where's Ben gone? Hi. <laughs> we are going in now. An excited Caitlin and excited Ben. You're gonna frame that, aren't you? What, what's this for? I think it's for a game. <gasps> he's, he's <an> <laughs> <laughs> wow. The king of karage and the undefeated chess boxing champion of the world, Mr. Chris Brown! <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, guys. Some of you, I know it's been a nightmare getting in today, so I uh, want to thank you a great deal. Anybody here come like far away, like Manchester? <laughs> well, I, met a guy, I met a guy earlier come from Florida. Three, two, one, mama! <laughs> oh, shit! 
<laughs> oh, he came 8,000 miles for this. <laughs> True or false that she once spilled sukiyaki beef on a customer? How about that? Yeah, she did a photo of the trash taste guys do. <laughs> Ended, not we have ended. We have the ended. event, yeah, we have ended. <laughs> the event has ended, and we're currently in a fat queue. I don't know if you can see it at the back. A fat queue to get a signing with Chris and Natsuki and that, and try to get a picture. It closes at 11. This place, we have an hour to get through this fat queue, which I'm not sure would it even happen. <laughs> Pretty on us, yes. Like, yes, yes, yes. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yes. Got fat. Well, I'm my family from Leeds, so. Oh, yes. I love, like, we're in Leeds, like, every week. Kaylin's <laughs> having a conversation with Chris, of course. Train. Like, trains, like, we're, like, still hourly. Yeah. Really? We're worried about it because of the strike today, isn't it? Yeah. Strikes didn't get in your way. No, yeah. That's good to hear. I was, I was amazed, actually. I thought, like, the room would just be empty. So. Thank you. Love the kanji. Kanji. Yeah. You know? No. Oh, shit. I, I, I have never worn Japanese since. Oh. Hello. 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 Also, we're screaming. Hello. 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 It's bye time now. Bye. What's that? Take my hair. <laughs>